One nice thing that Lightroom does is it makes it reasonably easy to set up a watermark that you can then export with any of your images. So to do a watermark, first go to edit, and then you've got this option right here, edit watermark. That pulls up your watermark here. So it's going to start off with just this little copyright icon you'll see here. I'm going to go copyright, I'm going to paste the copyright symbol, and then my name. Now that I've got my text that I wanted to say, I can adjust where it is on the image. So if you go over to the right here, you'll see we can change fonts if we want. We can change our alignment if we need to. We can change the color. So by default, it's white. But if you want to go with a different color, I'm going to scroll down shadows, opacity. This, this is just if you want to have like a drop shadow or something like that on it. The opacity of the watermark itself. So notice when I'm dialing it down size so it's pretty small so i'm going to bring it up here just a bit and you can also do like a fit so if you want it to fit you know just the lower total lower half or fill the entire thing you can do that if you want i like proportional for the inset this is one that I'll usually change because by default it's going to go the very lower left of the corner. But I actually like to have mine up and a bit higher. So I'm going to change mine to 5 and 5. And notice what it does is it gives us a little space in between the watermark and the edge of the image. You can also change the anchor point. So maybe you want to go in the upper right. You can even go in the center if you want. Lower right. Center. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to keep mine in the lower right. And I'm going to now save it. And I'm going to save this as my load demo one and create. Now let's say I want to export some images. I'm just going to go grab them all. I'm going to go export. And let's create a folder demo. And I can go watermark, and we've got Milo Demo 1 here, the one I just did, and hit export. So it'll export these images really quick. It's going to add that watermark to all of them, which is really nice. It does it. And the nice thing about this as well is whether your image is vertical or horizontal, it's still going to use that same distance from the lower left or wherever it is you decide you want it placed. And as you can see here, we now have that watermark on the lower left. Now let's say you want to do an image watermark instead of a text watermark. You can do that as well. So go to the same place, edit watermark, and notice we have this image option here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the text. I'm just going to delete it, and I'm going to choose my image. So for my photo studio, let's say I want to create one. with my studio logo on it. It's a PNG image, which I want because I want only the text to show and nothing else. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just adjusting the size. I'm just grabbing the corner. And you can, same thing, adjust your fits and watermarks. I'm going to do the same 5 and 5, but let's do this one on the upper left instead. I'm going to save it. Demo 2. Great. And let's export another set of images. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll export the same ones. And I'm going to go Demo 2. Export. And we'll use our unique names. And notice now it's got that studio logo on the upper corner. Um, Lightroom's really kind of nice about this is that how easy they make it to do. You can go into edit watermark as well. Let's say you want to take one of your existing ones so that Milo Demo 1 
maybe I wanted to like add my last initial, I can do that and then save and it overrides it. Or with the um, logo, same thing, you can change it, adjust it if you want, change the image. And that's pretty much all there is. Uh, doing a watermark in Lightroom. Hope you found this useful and have a good day.